Welcome to the Dot Walk brought to you by Ainsley and Ainsley and powering this amazing British America's Cup team. We are now into the semi final stage of the Louis Vuitton Cup. Things are really heating up. We've got two races today against the Swiss. We're up second and fourth. This crowd is forever building behind me. It's getting so full of family, friends, supporters, one of which is our greatest friend in the whole world, Annabelle Croft, who's here. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I just want to ask you what you make of all this, because we come home and we bang on about how great it all is, and we get excited by everything that's going on here. You're here now, feeling a little bit of this. What what does it feel like for you? Um, It's absolutely amazing. Obviously, Mel, my late husband, was such a big part of this, and he would have just loved loved every second of it. His tail would have been wagging, but just to be here, see the crew about to take off, seeing this crowd here, the excitement building, it is huge and it is so exciting what the possibilities are. I don't want to get too excited, but I think people don't really under understand how big this is. It's the oldest sporting cup in the world and we need to win it. Do you know what's really interesting? I was thinking, knowing that you were here today, I was thinking, do you know, you and I both saw Andy Murray win Wimbledon at Wimbledon yeah. after like 70 plus years of trying. Years, yeah, and he did it in 2000. This could happen, 170 plus. We whisper it because we don't want Ben to hear us talking about this because he doesn't like to tempt fate. But that could be monumental for British sport. Absolutely. I mean, it, it's something that, I, as I said, I don't think people realize how big this is. It is the oldest sporting cup in history. And, you know, the fact that we're here today, this is a semi-finals, it's such a, an important step towards pot potentially going up against the defenders. But um, I just think the level of professionalism that is involved in this, I think that's for me is what's exciting about it. I've just had an amazing tour of the base, seeing everybody that's involved, this whole team effort. Every Every single detail that could possibly be looked at has been looked at and I think it's so exciting to see it all come together and let's keep our fingers crossed of what's about to happen. Look, you and me both wish that Mel was here and you know I will have a big cuddle oh, afterwards we but yeah. we know he would have absolutely loved every second of this and we're thinking of him every oh, step of the way. Thank you. I know it's a bit emotional. But I know. <laughs> okay I'm gonna let you go to my lot over there and I'm gonna go down the dock. Let's go down the dock Louis. And let's find Ian Williams, who's our pre-start coach, because so much of what's going on in this cup is about the starts. Ian, can I borrow you for two ticks? It's just with our COO, Dave Endine, and also with Jim Ratcliffe, our backer. So I'm tearing you away from precious company. No, no problem. Um, let's talk about these starts. I read somewhere on a web chat yesterday, which I know I shouldn't be looking at, but I did, that they call you the piano man. Now, talk to me about how we are strategizing these starts today. We've got two against the Swiss. How are we going to approach both those races? Will we approach them the same or differently? Uh, well, obviously, we have two different ends. Uh, we come in starboard entry for the first one, then port entry for the next. So that does, does make a bit of a difference. The starboard end is a bit more reactive. It's the port entry that really has to choose uh, what's going to happen in the start. But we feel pretty comfortable both. We can either dictate or we can respond to what they're doing. And so, you know, I'm confident the guys will be able to go out and execute two good starts. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing exactly how that manifests itself. I'm just going to squirrel my way around here and see if I can find Ben, who is lingering somewhere. Where is he? Has anyone seen my husband? Oh, he's there. There he is. Brilliant. <laughs> just applying the old sun cream. Actually, we need it today because the weather's been a bit dodgy the last couple of days, but it's suddenly spiced up again. Okay, I hope I'm not going to fall in the drink here. Um, two races today against the Swiss. Uh, well, let's start with the weather. What are we expecting and how will that affect our approach today? Yeah, it looks better today than it has been for the last week or so. We got this, what we call a Garby breeze, which is a southwesterly, sort of thermally enhanced breeze. So, yeah, it should be good. Sort of 12 to 15 knots of wind. Should be good. Okay, and we've got obviously two races, second and fourth. Uh, why did you choose to wait a little out there and not go up first? Uh, generally, do we find the breeze tends to come in better later in the day, so also gives us a chance to see what the other, other teams are up to and felt like the right thing to do. Are you paying attention to what people are talking about in the media about the choice against the Swiss, or are we just focusing on what we need to do and worrying about the, the uh, Italians and the Americans doing their own thing? No, what are they saying? <laughs> well, no, 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 I'm just saying it's, it, you know, people are speculating about the choice and everything else. No, no, no just get on with it. Fine. Okay, when we're talking about getting on with it, come here, I've just got to do that because he's, oh, no. he's got cream all over his nose. <laughs> Have a great race, darling. Wishing you all the very best, all of you guys out there on the water. Up second and fourth against the Swiss today. You can watch all the action live on YouTube or TNT Sports. There'll be, of course, an analysis show post the racing action. You'll be able to catch that too on YouTube. And we'll see you again tomorrow for another one of these.